गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल लेट एस डिस्कस अ न्यूमरिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन टू डायमेंशनल इनवर्स डिस्क्रिट फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन टू डायमेंशनल स्पेस दैट इज एफ ऑफ यू कॉमा वी इट इज गिवेन टू अस एंड फॉर दिस गिवेन इनपुट सिग्नल वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द इनवर्स डिस्क्रिट फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन तो सिमिलर टू माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर सिंस माई एफ ऑफ यू बी इट्स अ टू डायमेंशनल सिग्नल हैविंग द डायमेंशन फोर क्रॉस फोर so corresponding its inverse fourier transformation that is f of x comma y it's also a two dimensional signal having the dimension 4 cross 4 and in this 4 cross 4 matrix we have to determine these elements so similar to my previous videos similar to my previous lectures to compute two dimensional inverse discrete fourier transformation we will use the tudel matrix format so formula first the formula for two dimensional inverse discrete fourier transformation using tudel matrix it is given as 1 by m into n multiplied with the kernel matrix multiplied with the given input uh, f of u comma v that is the representation in the frequency domain multiplied with the kernel transpose where m is the number of rows and n it is the number of columns and the kernel it is given as kernel or the tudel matrix it is given as 1 1 1 1 1 1 j minus 1 minus j 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus j Minus one j. So we will use this formula, and in this formula we will substitute m, that is the number of rows. So in this image, the number of rows it is four, and and that is number of column. So in this image, the number of column it is also equals to. Four. In place of kernel, I will substitute this matrix. In place of f of u v, I will use this given input image, and in place of kernel transpose, I will take the transpose of this matrix. So let's proceed. So first, my out I will write by uh, uh, my output that is f x comma y. It is equals to One by number of rows, it is four, multiplied with number of column, that is also four. Now first, I will write the kernel. That is one, 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 one j minus one minus j one minus one. One minus one, one minus j minus one j multiplied with the given input image two 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 two. Next it is two 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 two. Next it is two 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 and last two two two. Two. After that, we have to write 
the transpose of this matrix so it is 1 1 1 1 then this side also 1 1 1 j minus 1 minus j it is minus 1 minus j 1 minus 1 minus 1 and then j 1 by 4 multiplied with 1 by 4 it becomes 1 by 16 first we will multiply these two matrix so the first column sorry the first row will multiply with the first column this one will multiply with this two this one will multiply with this two this one will multiply with this two and this one will multiply with this two so when this first row multiply with this first column my result it is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus two. Similarly, this first row when multiplied with the second column, third column and fourth column, my result would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 8. So 8 for the 8 when this first row multiply with the second column, when the first row multiply with the third column, it is again 8 and when this first row multiplied with my fourth column, it is also 8. Next. The second row is multiplied with the first column. So 1 multiplied with 2, it is 2. J multiplied with 2, it is plus 2J. Minus 1 multiplied with 2, it is minus 2. And minus J multiplied with 2, it is minus 2J. So if you compute this 2 and minus 2 will cancel each other plus 2j minus 2j will cancel each other so the result becomes 0 so if this second row is multiplied with the uh, second column third column and fourth column since all columns are identical so same result will be repeated so when this second row multiplied with either the second column third column and fourth column my result would be 0 0 and 0 similarly Next, for the third row, when multiplied with the first column, 1 multiplied with 2, it is 2. Minus 1 multiplied with 2, it is minus 2. 1 multiplied with 2, it is plus 2. And minus 1 multiplied with 2, it is minus 2. So the resultant, it becomes 0. Similarly, when the third row multiplied either with the second column, third column and fourth column, my result would be 0, 0 and 0. Coming to the fourth row, fourth row multiply with the first column, the result it is 2 minus 2j minus 2 plus 2j. Again, this minus 2 and plus 2 will cancel each other, minus 2j plus 2j will cancel each other. So the resultant it becomes 0. So again, the, when the first, when the fourth row multiply either with the second column, third column and fourth column. My result would be 0, 0 and 0. So next, so after this I will write again this transpose of this kernel. For simplicity, let me write the resultant of this matrix 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, it becomes 8, 8, 8, 8. Second row, all elements are 0, 0, 0. Third row, all elements are 0, 0, 0. And last row, that is the fourth row, all elements are 0, 0, 0. Multiplied with the kernel transpose. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, j, minus 1, minus j. One minus 1, 1, 
माइनस वन वन माइनस जे माइनस वन जे so now we will perform the matrix multiplication so now we will perform the matrix multiplication first row multiply with the first column this 8 multiply with this one this 8 multiply with this one this 8 multiply with this one and this 8 multiply with this one so the result becomes 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 next first row multiply with the second column 8 multiply with 1 it is 8 8 multiply with j it is plus 8j 8 multiply with minus 1 it is minus 8 and this 8 multiply with minus j it is minus 8j Next, first row multiply with the third column. So the result it is 8 multiply with 1, it is 8. 8 multiply with minus 1, it is minus 8. 8 multiply with 1, it is plus 8. And 8 multiply with minus 1, it is minus 8. Next, first row multiply with the fourth column. The result it is 8. 8 multiply with 1 it is 8 8 multiplied with minus j it is minus 8 j next this 8 multiply with minus 1 it is minus 8 and this 8 when multiplied with j it becomes plus 8 j next second row all elements are 0 so when second row multiply with either the First column, second column, third column and fourth column. My result would be 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, similar to the second row, third row and fourth row, all elements are 0. So, my result would be 0, 0, 0, 0. This is also 0, 0, 0, 0. So, next, let us simplify this matrix. So next we will solve this expression. So it is 1 by 16. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. It becomes 32. Minus 8 plus 8 will cancel each other. Minus 8j plus 8j will cancel each other. So it becomes 0. Similarly 8 minus 8. 8 minus 8. It becomes 0. Plus 8. Minus 8, minus 8j, plus 8j will cancel each other and it becomes 0. And rest all elements are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now in the next step, this constant 1 by 16, we will multiply with all the element of the matrix. So my result becomes 2, 0, 0, 0. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so my final output f of x comma y it is 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so for the given input sequence so for the given in input sequence so for the given input sequence f u comma v we have computed it inverse discrete fourier transformation using twiddle matrix format and we have obtained f of x comma y that is 2000000000000000 and 000